Hey guys, Daniel here and welcome back to the Dan Fam. Today I am finally sharing my thoughts on what I believe is the best Minecraft mod pack of 2019. As always, you guys were amazing and got my last video, the craziest Minecraft mod packs of 2019 to 10,000 views in a crazy short amount of time. If you guys were not aware, I posted a survey asking what video you guys wanted to see next and this is the video you guys voted for by far being the number one vote. The reason why it took so long to make this video was because I wanted to make sure that I saw most of the mod packs that came out this year before making a list about it. I will post another survey which will determine what my next Minecraft video will be. So make sure to go to my channel, hit that subscribe button and find the survey under the community tab and vote. Before I start the video, I just want to thank you guys so much for an amazing year and say that I hope that we can hit 4,000 subscribers before the end of 2019. So please share this video, tell your friends about it, and join the Dan fam. This video has also been sponsored by a brand new awesome game, which I will talk more about at the end of the video, so sit tight. Now let's find out what the best Minecraft mod pack of 2019 is. At number 5, we have Sky Factory 4 with 1.9 million downloads on the Twitch desktop app. This mod pack has been created by Dark Osto, Balargust, and First Necron. Sky Factory 4 offers a brand new experience never before seen in the series. Full automation, tech, magic, and bacon resources. This iteration offers over 30 plus world types so you can play the pack like never before. While some world types are based on the classic tree on dirt, others are designed with unique recipes and advancements, which makes this version different from every other Sky Factory before it. They have completely redesigned the resource gathering, saving for resources are a thing of the past. For more immersive experience, Sky Orchards has been introduced, resource trees provide a built-in progression system and lets the player choose the resources they want to produce rather than a randomized system. We've removed the achievement book and replaced it with the invest investment system. Instead of requiring players to manually check out what they've accomplished, the, the game will tra keep track for you. This system isn't designed to create a required questing system, but rather an optional set of goals for players looking for ideas on what to do next. Now let me just tell you guys, this description tells you everything you need to know, and this game is amazing. It's a solid, amazing Skyblock mod pack, you know, a classic, but something brand new as well, so I think this one definitely tops it out of all the other Skyblocks in 2019. Now on to the next. At number 4, we have Feed the Beast Academy with 163,000 downloads on Twitch. This is a mod pack created by the FDB team. And let's just say it is a solid good mod pack for beginners, for advanced people, anything. It provides a solid tutorial for its own mod pack, you know. Most mod packs don't do that and I really appreciated it because you start off and it goes through a little mini map which is kind of just a tutorial on different mod packs that you'd probably want to use throughout your game. And even for me, since I've been playing for a while, I still did appreciate it because it gave me a good idea of what is being provided in this mod pack before I started it. I had a fun tutorial, I learned a couple new things as well. And to be honest, I had such a fun time. It was just a really good classic mod pack, and that is why I think this is a good choice for my number four. I will also quickly go through the description for you guys and try to read it a bit. Uh, FTB Academy is a mod pack for beginners. It has quests and a guide to teach you modded concepts and walk you through every step of the mod pack. The biggest problem people have when they first start playing modded Minecraft is there's no clear choice for which mod pack to play. Learning the mods requires sourcing online, wikis and guides, and watching videos. FTB Academy aims to fix that problem. The mod pack has over 300 quests to walk you through each step of the progression of the most common mods, and nearly 100 pages of guides to give you a more in-depth explanation so you don't have to go searching through wikis. Players will spawn in a school structure where they will follow quests in world images to learn modded concepts like automation, technology, and magic. Once this tutorial area has been completed, you will be teleported to the overworld 
to begin playing properly. FTB Academy has no changed recipes and no altered progression, aside from the school, in order to accurately represent the average mod pack. And that is very well said. Hope you guys are interested and check that out. Now on to the next. At number three, we have Volcano Block with 196,000 downloads on Twitch. This mod pack was created by Al132 the Beast, who actually keeps in contact with me through Twitter and YouTube and really is such an amazing creator who just loves to keep in contact with his community. And honestly, I'm such a big fan of all his mod packs. They're amazing. I've been playing every single one of them. So make sure to go check out his mod packs in specific. But I'm not just here because I'm his friend or something. I don't really know him. But this uh, Volcano Block mod pack is insane. That's why I didn't even write a script for this part because I am going to freehand it. Basically, the beginning um, description says, You're dropped into the heart of a volcano with nothing but a knife. How will you make your escape? Now, let me just explain what else happens, guys. It's kind of like a sky block, but instead of a sky around you, you have lava around you. Infinite lava around you. And you're basically on dirt. Surrounded by lava everywhere. And this is actually very agriculture based. And you grow a lot of plants. And there's a, a plant that you grow that uh, if it's near, if it's next to a lava block and a water source, it just shoots out cobblestone in the air. It's insane. Like, I love this. And I believe if you like hold shift, like just hold shift, that's your bone meal. Then the knife is basically used to cut yourself and it gives you some kind of flesh and you turn it into bone meal to grow plants. It's super wacky. It's super cool. It's super insane. You cook potatoes by throwing them on lava and try to catch them, but if you don't catch them, they just bounce off forever. I love every single aspect of this mod pack, so you can tell I have a passion for it. I remember when it came out, it was a lot smaller, but I know it's big now, so you guys should go check it out and definitely give it the credit it deserves because I believe it is number three of the best Minecraft mod packs of 2019. Now on to the next. At number two, we have Minecraft. Yeah, you heard me right. Minecraft. And not a mod pack called Minecraft. I'm talking about vanilla Minecraft. Now let me tell you why. Minecraft has made such a huge comeback this year, with big names on YouTube playing it again. The best example of this is PewDiePie and his consistent Minecraft uploading schedule. Fans have really hopped back on the Minecraft train this year, and I really feel like it deserves this place on the list since the original game itself became so massive again this year. This is exciting because now more people are playing Minecraft which will lead to more people trying out mod packs. This is going to be huge for mod pack makers. PewDiePie has even began to test out some mod packs himself and one of these mod packs is actually my number one pick. So again, shout out to Vanilla Minecraft, shout out to Notch, shout out to Microsoft, whoever's working on it, and just shout out to the culture because, man, it, I love that Minecraft came back because I never stopped playing it, but most people were pretty much over it, and now everyone's back into it again, and I am really thankful for the community for bringing it back. Now on to the next. And finally, my number one pick for the best Minecraft mod pack of 2019 is RL Craft with 1.1 million downloads on Twitch, which I probably bet is way more now. This mod pack was created by Shiviax, Shivaxi, I believe, and this mod pack is insane. This is the mod pack that I saw PewDiePie play on his channel. And you know that if PewDiePie is playing your mod pack, you made it in life. You made it. Uh, let me just talk about what this mod pack is, and I honestly haven't really played it much, but you know it's crazy. You've seen footage of it. People are constantly dying to the craziest scenarios in the world. It is such a cool mod pack, and it was such a cool breath of fresh air. Honestly, I wish I had this mod pack when I made the craziest Minecraft mod packs list, but it wasn't out yet. So let me read the description for you guys. RL Craft. A mod pack specially designed to bring an incredibly hardcore and semi-realism challenge revolving around survival, RPG elements, and adventure-like exploration. According to the mod pack creator, this started out as a simple little thing I was putting together for my own server and friends, and since then, it's turned into something pretty ridiculous. 
got some requests about releasing it as a mod pack, so it was released. And that was the description. That is why I believe this is number one. This is such a cool breath of fresh air. The creator did such a great job to provide a mod pack where we laugh at our losses, you know? In a day and age where most games are super easy and you just laugh and you enjoy because it's so easy and you're winning. But I like a good bit of defeats. I like laughing at my own losses. And I love losing and dying in the craziest way possible in a Minecraft mod pack so that is why this is my number one pick hopefully you guys agree as well and stay tuned for the outro <laughs> and now we are in the outro my favorite part of the video where i get to thank all of you guys for sticking this far in the video i appreciate it so much hit that like button down below if you liked it comment down below what you guys think is the best minecraft mod pack of 2019 and subscribe to join the dan fam now let's get straight into this sponsor for generations, there were signs that humanity had upset the balance, and blinded by greed, they did not stay from their path. But actions have consequences, and the planet changed faster than anyone had anticipated. 700 million refugees, with no land to call home, having nowhere to go, desperation set in. Fear ensued by panic. And then began the last war. Having weapons too advanced for their own fragile bodies, the massacres were swift. Disease and famine took almost everyone else. Humanity, now the latest endangered species, found an alternative at the ruins of the bomb sites. Energy cores that could operate as soldiers, replacing armies of the flesh. It is now time to choose a new path. Make decisions and battle those who oppose you. Find the balance between spending towards a stronger army and investing in infrastructure for a better future. Take humanity to the next level by taming the ultimate source of energy. But remember, actions have consequences. Alright guys, so that was the trailer to Type Zero. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to go to the description below and hit the link to check out their Kickstarter and just follow them if you want to see what the progress of this game is. They are doing a short campaign and if they reach their mon monetary goal, they will create the game with the graphics they want. This is super exciting and the money that will go to them will really help them create the game and some of it will go to me. So if you want to support me, go support this game and make it happen. I want to play it for sure on this channel. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.